The final day of the quest. The conclusion of my tournament to find a true ultimate warrior and champion has begun. For my three remaining warriors, they have proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that they deserve to stand here. Yet by day's end, two will fall and one will rise. Warriors, your road is coming to a close. And very soon we will have a new ultimate champion. The Bulo, Markaz, or Krekov. Which will it be, I wonder? Allow me to look into your hearts for one final time. Well, day four was a, a bit of a shit show, I'm not gonna lie. I did lose many challenges, and I am now only two rings ahead. But you know, day five went pretty good for me last time, so why can't it go good for me this time? And as my friend the chicken has told me, uh, I am not gonna cock it up. You know, I'm getting a little feeling of deja vu, but this time I'm not falling behind because I will rise to the top, I'm gonna stay grounded, and I just gotta beat those people's asses, and that's all I need to do. I can't believe I've made it this far. It is insane to me, but I have to do the impossible for me. I have to end the day with a big, bigger win. First place. I know I can do this. I will win this. It's crack off time, baby. The day is young, and we must make haste, for we will be taking a deadly path this day. Come. Warriors, you may be surprised at our first location of the day, for we stand before this, the Blasted Mountain. As you know, the last stand lies in the lands beyond, but Navar has rallied his forces, and if we are to make it to his stronghold, we must take a dangerous trek beneath the mountain itself. But to go under, we must first overcome the mountain's wrath itself. Climbing the mountain, you must collect building materials from the three chests and bring them back to these ancient pedestals to craft a shield which will protect you from the volcano's poisonous smog. The fastest two among you will survive, and the first to finish will even gain two gold rings. But if you come last in this race, you must pay the price. Warriors. This is the first challenge of the day. Are you ready to face it? Ready? Oh, let's do this. Then let the challenge begin. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I wonder if we were meant to get pickaxes. Oh well. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? There we go. This is a close fought race. Do, 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 do. Jesus Christ. The concentration of all of us. I'm scared of okay. Oh I no, they, they patched the hammers. No, you bitch. Not again. Nice. Ah. Oh, come, come on. Marquez catches back up and takes the lead. Crud. No. Go on, Marcus, you be on fire. I did it once, I can do it again. I did it once, I can do it again. I made the same mistake twice. How long am I on fire for? Thank you. Oh my god, Creep. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're legends right now. We're gamers. Yeah, suckers. Where, what wait, am I meant to be doing? Wait a second, you have to go out there? I think I forgot what the bomb is. Stupid? Oh, oh, you sneaky sons of, sons of, wait, what a second. Wait a second, am I stupid? Sorry. <laughs> we can't do Not this. <laughs> Why are we so bad? Oh my god. Get me out of there! Get me out of there! I'm a oh, celebrity, I, get I, me I out know, of here! I don't, know, I don't know what I'm meant to do there. Oh my god, dude. Boom, boom. 
Do you know what boom, red to do? Boom, boom, well, I'm just trying to boom, go, dude. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know why I'm. No! No clue what I'm meant to be doing. Hey! Bro, I've been trying to do a jump for eight and I've fucking fucked every time. There we go, fucking hell. Alright, it's gonna be. I know I am. I tried to do this really shady move there. I tried to use the Yeah. Off. Damn. Overwatch Raven. Coming. By Raven's eye, Krekov was able to damage boost to escape the, the cave. What the fuck did you just do? Skill. All skill. What the fuck? Oh well. Uh, Wait, what? Krekov I've... moment. What? What? <laughs> that is insane! Thank you, Blasted Mountain, for not fucking me over. Okay, now that I don't Guna Collision, that challenge is easy. What the hell were they doing on those chains? Like, that was, that was not a competition. I mean, thank thank God for that. I'm now a life ahead at least, so that's pretty good. I don't know what I did back there to get over there. Uh, apparently, I weren't, that weren't the intended route, but I'm not going to complain. I'm going to have all my lives. I needed one challenge, one challenge win. I got that. Ladies and gentlemen, plot armor exists. If God does not have a choice of who wins, he does now. Cause I, this guy is voodoo magic. I don't know what happened. I can't be mad, but I guess I lost. Markaz and Krekov, you succeeded in the blasted mountain and survived its wrath. And Markaz, you gained two gold rings for your efforts. Well done. Dabulo, however, you came last in the race. I will return you from the mountain's wrath. But it will come at the cost of a precious life. Warriors, the caverns beneath this mountain are vast and deadly. Yet if we are to make it to our destination, we must progress further. This is the chasm and the site of your next challenge. Once a bridge leading to an ancient underground civilization, it was wiped out many years ago when the mountain first erupted. Now all that remains are the structures littered behind me and the magma pooling below. One at a time, you must make your way across the chasm to the far side. If you reach the end, you will preserve your lives. But should you want gold, then side paths exist for you to take. But be warned, these paths are difficult, and one false move will cost you a precious life. Marquez, are you ready? I guess so. Then let the chasm commence. I see what you did there, mate. I see what you did there. Okay. This is... It's very warm here. Has anyone ever told you it's quite warm? Okay. I do enjoy going for some rings, really. A ring is yours, Marquez, if you can complete the challenge. Very nerve wracking. You know, I'm tired of being a pussy in this entire quest, you know? I wasn't really a pussy, I just. I'll never get to do it again, so I mean, I might as well.
Okay. Marquez has fallen. Boom, made the first jump. Let's go. That's all I wanted. Honestly, I can do this. You know, I can't be a pussy. I can't do this ever again. A ring is yours, Dabulo, if you can Ooh, complete yeah. the challenge. I did not know you were good at impressions, Dabulo. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's my uh, side gig. Oh, jeez. Dabulo has also fallen. Krakow, your fellows have fallen to this challenge. If you wish to gain a lead, all you must do is make it to the end. Are you ready? Let's do this. Then let's get ready to rumble. That means go, go, Krekov. <laughs> I was trying to be hip with the kids, Krekov. You know, I appreciate the effort, Raven. You're a, you're, you're like a cool uncle. And Krekov falls. I just, I want to get out of this cage. This is embarrassing. I can't believe we all fucked up. It's like a sauna in here, but yeah. <laughs> That's unfortunate for uh, us, I guess. I don't know. You know, I, I, I kind of like the cold more than I do the heat. Uh, it's a bit cringe down here. The worst part is I'm stuck with Marquez. And that's the worst of all. I hate Krakow. Yeah! What the fuck? While the three of you think about what you've done inside that cage, I will be taking away a life from each of you for failing. It seems we have found a familiar sight, and thus we are closer to the mountain's exit. This is the blast path. High above on the ceiling, an explosive substance hangs that, when shot with a flame arrow, will ignite, fall, and explode after a short amount of time. Your goal is to defeat your opponents by using the explosives to damage them. But be wary. The arena is surrounded by fiery magma, and as the floor begins to erode, You'll find the magma beneath the platform as well. Only one warrior will claim gold here. The other two will pay the price of a life. Warriors, are you ready to blow up the blast path? Yes! Boom, boom. Then let the challenge begin. Sorry. Yeah. I feel like I need to be really focused it's, right now. This girl is on fire, as they say. Oh, I'm getting sandwiched. I'm getting sandwiched. I'm getting sandwiched. Oh my god, already? And Krekov nice. is the first to fall. Go to Marcus. Go to Marcus. What's up, Shadi? What's up? What's up, man? What's up? What? what are you doing? <laughs> Do you want to shoot me or something? You're being a little good for. Oh, I almost fell in. Intense concentration. That's a bomb. Why did I start shaking now? This is not good. Shake, 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 Morocco, shake it all around. Work, 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 we will blow up this entire area before I go down. Hi. Stop following me, now I know how it feels. <laughs> oh. Come on, oh, man. Oh shit. Oh, 
Ugh. No. Oh, I'm so stupid. The bullo. Oh. oh my god. Success for you. Well done, warrior. Four, two, baby! That's what I needed after losing Blasted Mountain. This is exactly what I did, even in the playing field, making it just everyone one life lower. This is what I needed, and I feel absolutely aesthetic. I mean, this charge was always going to be kind of an iffy one for me. Uh, it's just really shooting around, hoping you don't make a mistake, and I did when we were crossing paths. I tried to punch him like an idiot and lost all my momentum and felt lava, but we don't talk about that anymore because... Honestly, I said it in week one, level playing field lost, and I'm still very, very confident. I have to admit, I'm rather disappointed in my performance, but uh, at right near the really close to the start, they both started shooting at me, and I kind of panicked, and instead of running away, I just did the, the crick off thing. Uh, but I will win this last challenge, I hope, and I will somewhat decrease the time between we start in the last stand. The Bulo, a two-time Blast Path victor. You gain two gold rings for your haul. Well done. Marquez, Krekov, I will bring you back. But as you know, this will come at the cost of a precious life from each of you. Warriors, we are almost out, and one more challenge stands between us and the light of day once more. But to escape the mountain, you must traverse its molten crater. Taking up a fishing rod, one at a time, you will enter the crater of the blasted mountain, where you will see a large skull door that remains shut. Above it lie six redstone lamps, and to open the door, you must trigger three of them. To trigger the lamps, you must search the crater for six golden pressure plates, which you can press down with your fishing rod to activate them. Banners will be placed either near or next to the plates, so you know what to look for. Three pressure plates are needed to open the exit, while from then on any extra pressure plates you find and press will grant you an extra ring. But be warned, every 20 seconds, the lava will rise by one block in the crater. So, should you fail to escape the challenge in time, the lava will engulf you. Marquez, are you ready to tackle the Molten Crater? <sighs> before the final time before last stand, yes I am. Then let the challenge begin. Okay, let's go. What the? One pressure okay. plate triggered. Okay, I'm assuming that we just need to... Two nice. pressure plates triggered. The lava is beginning to rise. What the... What's going on? Marquez needs only step down to this lowest level and he would have the range he needs to hit this pressure plate. Hello? Oh, I'm just, I'm just... The lava rises again. I'm trolling so hard. What's going on? What am I doing? Where's the rest of them? Uh, oh, there's one up. How do I get up there like that? Where is that one? Your third pressure nice. plate triggered. The exit is oh, now that. open. Okay, there's one. There's one there. It will take a miracle to get to the exit now. Except the... Oh my god, that is... I'm dead. Fuck! Marquez has fallen. To quote a great warrior of the past, who I have no idea how I know this, Fuck shit, bitch, God, fuck, fuck shit. 
Dabulo, if you succeed here and survive this challenge, you enter the last stand in first place. Are you ready? Sure thing. Then let the challenge begin. That is one down. Almost walked into the thing. I can probably get closer. Two down, Dabulo. You have hit three pressure plates and the exit is- I'm open. out of this bitch, I don't care. Actually, hold up. No, fuck it. I'm out. You escape of your lives? Welcome to first place. The first time I ever reached that gold spot in first place throughout both my weeks is the last competition before last stand. And that is the best position that I can possibly be in. And I can't do what I did last one. There's no room for error. And I just have to keep on blazing through. Krekov. You need to survive here if you wish to keep some semblance of closeness between you and the warriors in second and first. Are you ready? Ah, uh, yeah. Then let the challenge begin. One huh? down, Krikov. Bastard. Come on. Come on. Nope, I have to, I have to abandon that one. It's not happening. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. You. Uh, it's all going wrong. My aim is not on it. Oh. Well, that's embarrassing. What? Oh my god, I'm, hit, I'm hitting like everywhere around this pressure plate. Unless I pull out a miracle. That is two down, but you must be fast. This is too far to reach, isn't it? Yeah, way too far. Disaster for Krakow. Oh man, I've, this has not been a good day, last few days in fact, but this is just like the first week. I'm starting out from the bottom, I will, I'm still convinced I will win this thing. I just have to put in more work. Dabulo, by choosing to preserve your lives, you have now taken first place in this tournament. Marquez, Krekov, you failed to escape the molten crater and were taken by the lava. I will bring you back. But it will come at the cost of a precious life from each of you. As we prepare to face the final challenge of the tournament, the standings are thus. Dabulo has taken first place with three lives and four rings. Marquez's losses this day have knocked him into second place with two lives and six rings. While Krikov trails behind the rest with just one life and no rings. Had he not won Blasted Mountain this day, he would not be standing here right now. But as it stands, all three of my warriors will face the final challenge. Come.
Warriors, we stand once more in the gatehouse of this ancient castle. This was once my home, where my people would live and enjoy the peace and prosperity of this land. But when the darkness overcame us, this castle became a tomb. And now it is layer to the enemy of all that is right and just, my nemesis and your foe, Navar. He guards the portal at the peak of this castle, which once granted my warriors the right to become a true champion. And today, that will happen. That portal is your final objective. You must race through the various obstacles set up by Navar and his dark forces to reach the portal before your fellows. But be warned, since your last visit, the trials have gotten tougher, and there is only enough time for one warrior to make it through. That warrior will claim the title of Ultimate Warrior and Ultimate Champion, while the remaining two will face Navar's wrath one last time. Summon all of your courage, as for good or for ill, your quest ends here. Dabulo, you have three lives and four rings, giving you a 20 second head start over Marquez, who has two lives and six rings, who has a 20 second lead of a Krekov with one life and no rings. May the luck of the Raven's Eye be with you all. Let the challenge begin. Okay. I got this. I got it. Maybe I don't. It's grand start. The navigation through this opening section is a little bit harder. Let's see if the warriors can acclimate. Marquez has been released. Not, not the best start, but I got it. Okay. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh my God. Hello, Dabula. What's up, Shadi? Krikov has time, been baby. released. Let's do this shit. The warriors must now make the foot race climb to the archery section, where they must fire at three targets to progress. Okay, I'm okay. Just... <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> I hate British people. Get away from me. No, my game. Okay. Now it's not the time to lag, game. Yes, it's always the time to lag. I hope you keep lagging, stupid. Screw you. Damn. Oh. This parkour is really hard, wow. Do we take that ball? I don't know. Oh! Okay, I didn't fail the first jump immediately after that. Hell yeah. Come on. Yep. Okay. Okay, good. Parkour done. Get back here. Can you guys, uh, you know, stop? The Bulo can now no. progress. Oh, okay. That's See simple. you later, Marcus. Hope you keep Mar Mar Marcus Brownlee. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. Marcus can now nice. progress. Oh my okay. god, that scared the shot. That scared the absolute <laughs> life out of me. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hallelujah. The, Wait, the, I'm Bulo, the, the Bulo jump scare. Leroy Jenkins! Horse time! Okay, I forgot how horses work for a second. This is just like before. I'm quite far behind. Yep, this is harder, I will say. Oh my god, a gum drum! That's so hard! No, I broke the wrong one. Damn, my archery is not on point. Oh my god! What is this? What is this? Okay, archery done. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go! Oh my god. Of course the fucking nerd knows how to do this shit. Uh, watch where you uh, call me. You're still a nerd to me. Move your fat ass horse! No. Nope. <laughs> hey guys, I'm, I'm also here. Huh? Okay, First time. 
Marquez abandons his horse and races to the puzzle. Okay, 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 okay. No! Berries! Berries. Okay, let's see. The warriors must solve a simple slide puzzle. They must move the black and white glass onto the black and white blocks to progress. However, each movement moves both blocks. So the warriors must find the correct combination to have both blocks in the correct positions at the same time. What? Fucking horse honey jumps? Yeah, no, I... This is... Wow. Okay, horse honey done. Getting one glass block in position is child's play, but getting both blocks into position is the real challenge. Hey, I'm not like... out of it yet. Not, never out of it. Not out of it yet. Okay. How do I do this? Whoops. Okay. I do this. And this. Okay. Let's go. I have arrived. Never mind. Ow, 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 Come on, I'm being... I have arrived. Okay. If I do that... Okay. I mean... Okay, 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 okay. What am I meant to be doing when you get there? Okay, I am rather confused. Oh, shit! Oh, wait, no, man, I get it now. Fuck, I'm stupid. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So if I do oh. that, that, Come on. that. How do you get there? You silly block. Okay, 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 okay. Oh shit. Wait. Fuck. Wait! Marquez, you have solved your puzzle and oh, may my progress. Fucking God. Right. Come on! I keep getting one of them but not the other. This is really frustrating. Marquez, you are now within the gaze of Navar. Be wary. For his spells no. will warp you back okay, to the start of the really obstacle helpful. if you linger too long. Oh my god. Mm. No, I had it. Oh. Fuck me. Rather not. <laughs> okay. That was a good one, mate. Um, I gotta go chuckle at that one. Coming after you. Uh, okay. Oh right. my god, I see what happens here now. Turn right down. Come on. No, my. Get out of there. Fuck. Come on. No, I took that so hard. I did. Oh shit! Dabulo, you have solved your puzzle and may progress. Oh, 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 oh. oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Krekov, oh, you have shit. solved your puzzle and may progress. This way. Damn. Okay, okay, I think I have a path. Damn, I'm really doing bad at these ladders. Alright. Fuck! Come on! Moment of choice, baby. I'm not getting. Okay, there we go. I'm just lagging them. 
Bro! Oh. All three of my warriors are racing okay. to the portal. Who will take the win? Oh, nice, 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 nice. Damn, you have to go really fast through that. Oh! What is. Oh my god, I'm lagging so hard. Damn, the first one's really difficult. It's fine. Come on! I need to nail this out the park. Whoa! Come on. God damn it! Damn, this first one's really hard, but I love it. Nope. Reset. Reset. <laughs> ah, again, so close. It's just, it's the entrance that I keep pressing up. Why is it not fucking doing that shit? Yeah. Ah. I'm so stupid. It is only a matter of time stupid. before one of my warriors makes it through this challenge. Who will it be? Okay. Oh, we have to, you, can't, you, can't, you can't fall though, damn, that is mean. Ah, oh, what am I doing? Okay, I get it now, I get it. Damn. This is, this is really exciting. Fuck. This, this first obstacle is brutal for me. Okay. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. What? Oh. Crap, why did, why did I jump? Nope, reset, 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 reset. Don't show me the markings! And so, Dabulo has made it through the portal and claimed the title of Ultimate Champion. But first, I must rescue his comrades from Navar's grip. Marquez, Krekov, you fought with everything you had to the last second. Yet at the end of the quest, you are both met with the sting of defeat. But do not despair. You will be remembered in legend for years to come, as you both made it to this point not once, but twice, a feat shared only by a small few. Krekov, let us start with you as our official third place warrior. How do you feel at the end of the quest? God, I'm gonna say, hi, I'm Krep, nice to meet you all there. Uh, go, uh, this is... This has been a show that I'm not not even just the the real version, even the Minecraft version. That's something I grew up watching. It, uh, it was such a good thing for me to be able to just watch it, anything on my iPad when I was back at my mum's house. It was really great. And as I saw the uh, Group 1 episodes be released, uh, I were in a pretty meh mental headspace. And seeing people root for me, wanting me to do well. Uh, seeing people actually cheer for me and want something good to happen to me, that's... Fuck, that's fucking best feeling of my life, man. Marquez, as our runner-up, I know this competition meant the most to you. How are you faring at this moment? You know, <laughs> I knew all along going into it that if I act confident and cocky, then it can incredibly backfire, and you know, at the last stage, I was the happiest I could have been getting through, the through that puzzle. And they had it in my hands, and you know, I don't want to get sad because I know I fucking played amazingly for this entire fucking week, and I threw it away. No, no one else, just me. So, fuck, uh, God, congratulations to the below, and second place is just so me. So. I understand the emotions are high with both of you. This was a tough quest, and I know it took a lot out of you both, but if you could, do you have any advice for warriors at home who may want to compete either on Raven 
or game show tournaments in the future, anything that you could say to them, we'll start with you, Krikov. If you think it might be fun, if it's something you've seen before, if you just want to get involved, do it. I have gained so much from this experience alone. It's truly been some of the best, some of my best times on this platform. It is worth every second, every nervous moment, every quote unquote heart attack. It's worth every single moment. Even if you don't believe in yourself at one point, if you just take that chance and apply to that one thing and you never know, you might get a lucky break and get that chance and it can really change your life because these game shows have been uh, my life for what, the past three years now and uh, it's it's been a fucking great experience and I love every moment of it and you know, if you really train and you really practice, the, you can be you can do really much anything. Marquez, Krekov, I wish I could take the first steps home with you, but you must settle for the company of each other. By day, you will glimpse my shadow, and by night, you will hear my call. The spirit of Raven travels with you. Be safe, and farewell, my friends. It's been an honor, Raven. I hope I was a good warrior for you. Well, at least we went out together, Crick. Yep. Start as group one, end as group one. Let us go and meet our ultimate warrior. Oh... Wait, you're not a wave warrior. Oh, so. oh well, come on in. <laughs> Welcome to the uh, Warrior's Grove. I suppose oh, this means you you've, uh, you've beaten Waven's tournament. Well done. Yeah, holy uh, shit. I'm, uh, I'm going to bring you upstairs now. Come on. Off okay. you go. Yep, pay no attention to the... Oh, God, it's Erebus. Oh. I'm off. Hey. Hello. What's oh, yo. It's me, Erebus. I haven't had to say that in a long time. Uh, should we head up? Yes, yeah, sure. Here you are, surrounded by the, uh, the, the memoriams of Warriors Past from previous quests. And now, okay. you join them. Uh, and I see you're mounted as well. That's interesting, to say the least. As Erebus leads Dabulo to his rightful destiny, let us look back and recall those who once before, long ago, walked this same path. Minecraft Raven was the start of a completely new chapter for me. When Billy asked me to play more than seven years ago, I never knew how much my life would change. Almost all of my friends I know online I've met because of the opportunities given to me from this series. It was also the first real Minecraft game show I ever won, and I'm very proud of it even if I only won the easiest season. I would also like to give a big congratulations to the new Ultimate Warrior. You have played an amazing game. Good job. Being a part of Raven six years ago really was a wonderful experience. Coming up second place in both season two and Victor season one was really memorable for me. It was awesome to watch Billy put together such an incredible game show over the years. I could not be more thankful for the experiences both on and off camera. I never watched Raven as a child being from the US, but the game show will always have a special place for me. Cheers to Billy and everyone who helped make the Minecraft game show a masterpiece. When I became a warrior on Raven, I was shy and utterly terrible at Minecraft, having one of the worst way of the warrior runs of all time. However, as years went by, not only did I get better at the game, this series helped me improve myself. I helped create projects that I thought I would never be a part of and grew as a person and made friends when I thought I would never have any. People who still make me smile from the times we cause havoc to a plague to talking about matters. As I go on from taking part in other competitions and battling other demons, I always remember all this started by placing rings on the standard. Thank you, Raven. I have nothing but happy memories of my time on Minecraft Raven. I loved every minute of it. I loved the challenges, I loved the people. I feel like I grew a lot personally, and not just because I didn't know what a lever was when I started out. Oh, it just brought me an awful lot of joy at a time in my life when I really needed it. 
and I'm forever grateful to whoever it was that dropped out and left an opening for a rookie like me. Minecraft Raven was a rare freedom for me to partake in something I really treasured as part of my childhood and not feel judged for it. It's been surprisingly emotional for all kinds of reasons, through the highs and to the lows. Even when my time on this was short, I was amazed with how much support I got from fans and fellow warriors, and I found people through Minecraft Raven that I can call my friends for a very long time. I think most of all, Minecraft Raven has taught me that no matter what life throws at you, it's important to always remain optimistic and keep a smile on your face. I wholeheartedly thank Billy and all the other warriors for this amazing experience, and it's one that I'll never forget. I was a warrior long ago, and although I can't say I did my best, I certainly had fun. Playing in Season 5 and the stream Season 7 was genuinely amazing. It really taught me how, even if you fall down and fail, you can always pick yourself back up again and try again and to never give up. I'm honestly really glad to come back in one of the seasons and really happy that this series exists. And it's been a very amazing ride. Minecraft Raven to me is special as when it started I was 14 and now I'm 22, it's fucking mad how time flies. Competing in it was at times stressful but most importantly it's the people that you got to meet while on the journey that made it so special and honestly gives you memories that will last a lifetime. So a big thank you to all involved in making this an amazing experience, it helped I, Haroni and many of us live out a childhood dream. So a big thank you to all. Raven Season 6 is by far the most fun I've ever had playing in any Minecraft game show I've ever played in to this day, and uh, geez, I've played in a lot of good shows. Uh, from being the first person to reach 10 lives, to beating the Way of the Warrior course, I will never forget my Raven experience. Thank you for letting me be a part of this journey, Billy. And here we are, after five years of climbing stairs. Dabula? I believe there's somebody waiting for you just up there. Okay. Adios. Oh, hey, Raven. Dabulo. Step up. Welcome to the Warrior's Grove. This sacred site is home to the records of Journey's past, and you have met two of its custodians. But this is not about them, for their time has faded. It is about you. You, who defeated the last stand and overcame 17 other warriors to stand here before me, much less the warriors who didn't make it to the tournament. But Dabulo, before we can truly call you an ultimate champion, let me introduce the previous holder of the title, our Victor's Season champion, two-time tournament winner, Borislav. Ah, Warrior Dabulo. I've heard great things about you. Why are you looking at me like that? Get out of here, show some respect to your elders. I heard that you were the one to follow up the mountain legacy and finally made sure that only us ultimate champions can be off the mountain. I'm very happy to see that it was indeed you who decided to follow up on the legacy. You worked hard, you really showed them that the mountain is, of course, the best emblem. Because all the others suck, isn't that right kids at home? Anyways, have the staff of power. Take it with you, and use it in the many battles against evil. I'm out. Thank you, Borislav, for your service, wherever you are. Dabulo, that is your staff of power. And may the light shine upon this land once more, for as old tales fade, a new legend begins. The legend of the ultimate champion, Dabulo. Tell me, how do you feel now that your quest is finally complete? Holy shit, I, I did it. Uh, this is the most surreal thing that ever happened to me. I've come from the survivor community. This is the first thing I've ever done really outside of my comfort zone. And I proved myself. 
against very miraculous people and I've had the best time I can possibly have. I met the greatest type of people and this is just a great community if you love what you watch if you love what you see it is possible because i was in your seats watching i was begging or like believing that this is like the hardest thing to get on but it's really not and you just gotta include yourself be yourself be your best personality and that's what you need to do to have fun just make the best out of everything and that doesn't even have to do with game shows just be yourself in everything you do put yourself in your position just so you can have the most fun in whatever you do. And you get to be where I am, you get to be wherever. You get to rise higher than the mountains, higher than the clouds, higher than the moon. It's it's a lovely feeling. Very well. A new light banishes the darkness, and Dabulo, your journey has only just begun. Now, if I may take a moment to the warriors watching this tournament at home, Thank you for your continued support, tuning into the episodes each week. This quest would not have been possible without the countless contributions from those around me, to my crew, Hail the King, Justine, Unique Impact, and even Get Rick Rolled, wherever you are, thank you. To the warriors who were cast to compete in this series, as well as the warriors from the past seasons, thank you all. Your successes and your struggles make the show what they are, and it's been fantastic to watch. To my wonderful patrons over on Patreon, Author Adina, Lass, RandomGuy123, TheZombieSlayer78, NiftyNick, Jack Headphonius, and Hyrax Nixus, as well as anyone who may have signed up after the recording, thank you for your continued support. An extra special thank you to YouTube channels Let the Challenge Begin and Dragon 123 for their Raven music and special effects rips. David Brockett, the original composer of the Raven TV series for his fantastic music. Cloudlime for developing our Warrior Emblem skins that we use this series. The Force of Raven Forum for their continued support over the years, and of course, James McKenzie, the host of Raven and one of my biggest idols. I don't know if you'll ever see this, but thank you. This is a seven-year journey. Thank you all. Dabulo, step forwards. At this point, there is only one thing left to say, and as our ultimate champion, the honor goes to you, and I believe you know what it is. Farewell, my friends. Take it away. Warriors, come. <laughs> I did it! Woo! <laughs> oh no, the horses! <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> the horses! For my, for my first, for my, <laughs> for my first <laughs> policy as ultimate champion, horses <laughs> for everybody! <laughs> Horses. But will your ultimate champion status outlive the lettuce? Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Are you still recording? Yes, farewell, my friends. Oh, what a season. Oh,